Brother Muhammad's question is about the last verse of Surah, Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 287, Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter number 2. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطانا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به وافوانا واغفر لنا وارحمنا انت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين yes, ما هو الاسر الذي حمله الله على الذين من قبلنا ومن هؤلاء الذين من قبلنا اسر is defined in the holy quran itself when you mention, when you see in the verse that Ahmad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Israhum So Isra is the consequences of uh, sin and it becomes a load upon the people and a prophet comes to remove that load over them and Isra also may refer to those perverted ulama of his, of an ummah who carry their load like donkeys. They carry an Isr. There's so much, there are so many books loaded on their, on their backs. But donkeys don't understand. So the perverted ulamas do exactly the same thing. As far as the literal knowledge is concerned, they have great they should have great knowledge. But they don't understand that knowledge like a donkey doesn't understand the load of books he is carrying. I think that is the meaning of Israel.